Hello guys, welcome back to the Civil Engineering YouTube channel. Please subscribe our channel for daily Civil Engineering videos. Today our lecture is about the Poisson ratio. Poisson ratio is basically derived from the Poisson effect in which a material has been contracted in one direction while it is being expanded in the other direction. This effect is known as the Poisson effect. And Poisson ratio has been defined as that it is the ratio which shows that how much a material can contract or can expand. So to explain in more detail, let's consider this in an object. And this object or uh, this is in a material and this material has been subjected to the tensile loading P. So upon tensile load, this material will try to expand in the longitudinal direction. This has been expanded in the longitudinal direction if I represent by x. Here on both sides it has been expanded while it has been contracted in the literal direction if I represent it by y. So that dimension has been squeezed in the y direction while it has been expanded in the x direction. So this phenomena called is the Poisson effect. So what is Poisson ratio? So simply it is represented by mu and it is the ratio of the strain in the lateral direction which is being compressed in this figure. It is shown here that it is being squeezed in the, y, in the y direction or we can see in the lateral direction. So the strain in the lateral direction dividing by the strain in the longitudinal direction. And here the longitudinal direction show expansion of this material and with the negative sign. Negative sign is used because the strain mostly here is due to the compression. This the strain in the little direction has been compressed and which should be negative because the compressive strain are treated as negative. So multiplying negative with here negative it will become positive. That's why the negative sign has been used. So it is the negative ratio of the literal strain to the longitudinal strain. The Poisson ratio range for the material is from minus 1 up to plus 0.4, plus 0.5. But most of the material lies in the range of 0 to 0 0.5. The concrete has a Poisson ratio of 0.2, while the steel has a Poisson ratio of 0.3. So it means that the Poisson ratio of concrete is less than the steel. This shows the Poisson ratio for the concrete and this for the steel. It means that the less Poisson ratio shows that the concrete can be less contracted by applying the load in the longitudinal direction, while the steel shows the high Poisson ratio. It means that the strain in the literal direction by applying the load in the longitudinal direction is more in steel as compared to the concrete. So steel have more elasticity as compared to the concrete. This also proves that the elasticity of the steel is high and is compared to the concrete because it shows high value of Poisson ratio which means that it can deform, it can compress more in literal direction by applying the load in the longitudinal direction. The only material which is almost zero Poisson ratio is the cork. Although the real value cannot be equal to zero but we assume that the cork has zero value. What does it mean that a material with a zero Poisson ratio? It means that if I take this material and I applied the load to this material P. So it zero means that here if I put the zero here dividing by something it will give us zero. So it means the strain here in the little direction is zero. So after applying the load to this material it will not show any deformation in the little direction. But it only shows the deformation in the, in the longitudinal direction. In the direction of load, it shows the it shows some changes, it shows some strain in the longitudinal direction, while the literal direction there is no strain. In the literal direction, the strain is zero. That's why we call if I divide the zero by something value, we will get zero. So that's why the Poisson ratio of the cork is zero because it cannot be contract in the literal direction by the application of load in the longitudinal direction. That's why it is assumed that the cork is almost zero value although it's not zero exactly. Hope you guys understand the basics of the Poisson ratio which is basically the measure of the Poisson effect that describe the expansion or a contraction of a material when the load is applied. This was all for today and don't forget to subscribe my channel for daily civil engineering videos. Thank you for watching our video.